everyone and welcome back to Blatantly Bookish. I'm Marissa and today I'm here with the never before seen on booktube book tag video. This was created by Emma from the Bookish Princess. Her videos are fantastic. I highly recommend that you check them out. She also does, besides book videos, some Disney videos. I don't really watch those but I can only imagine that they are as fantastic as her book videos. So I'll link her channel down below as well as the original video. Disclaimer, I am quite sick. I have not been on booktube much this week because I am still recovering from being sick, but I really wanted to make a video for you guys this week. I didn't want to skip a week, so please excuse my change in voice and any sniffling, sneezing, or coughing that will ensue. <laughs> So the idea of this tag is to talk about books that you haven't seen popularized on booktube. Now some of the books that I'm going to talk about are not exactly obscure. I wouldn't be surprised if you've actually read them before, but they're just books that I haven't seen talked about while watching booktube. So without further ado, on to the books. So the first book that I'd like to talk to you guys about is called Precious Bane by Mary Webb. Now I haven't heard this talked about and I haven't read it in a really long time, but I still remember the fantastic writing and exquisite depth of character that Mary Webb creates. So it takes place in Shropshire, England, and features a particularly plucky and spunky female protagonist named Prue Sarn. It's narrated by Prue, um, who is a young woman with a cleft lip, or hair shot and lip, as it's called in the book. And it's just such a delicate and lovely book. It's perfect for fans of Victorian novel, fans of Hardy or George Eliot, and really just thinking about this book makes me want to reread it. It was so hauntingly beautiful. And here's just an excerpt from the introduction. What Mary Webb, the author, gives us is more than the archetypal happy ending of the fairy tale, where transformations come to princesses and princes trapped in bear and frog skins, where the kiss from one who sees the trapped creature as beautiful sets the real beauty free. For when the princely weaver kisses Prudence Sarn upon the spot of her deformity, it does not go away, and she does not shed it suddenly. Rather, the blemish loved and kissed at last can make her whole and open up the gates of entry to the joys it threatened to deny. Thus, what is finally evoked in us is more than the fairy tale, longing that our inner beauty will be seen so clearly it will make us beautiful before the world. It is the longing to be known and loved for all our blemishes, our warts and whens and contradictions, to be let in whole. In addition to that, one of my favorite quotes is this, that vivid present of theirs, how faint it grows. The past is only the present become invisible and mute. And because it is invisible and mute, its memoried glances and its murmurs are infinitely precious. We are tomorrow's past. So this book is just exquisite. I cannot highly recommend it enough. Please, please, please check it out, especially if you are into Victorian novels and classics. So the second book that I'd like to talk about is The Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. I love all of Amy Tan's books that I've read so far, and so even if you have read The Joy Luck Club, I would recommend checking out some of her other works, The Kitchen God's Wife, um, The Bone Setter's Daughter, Definitely take a look at those. But The Joy Luck Club is about four Chinese women who are recent immigrants to the U.S., and more specifically for San Francisco. They meet to eat dim sum, play mahjong, and talk and call themselves The Joy Luck Club. The book follows their families and the relationships and their American-born daughters, and we hear about each of the eight women's lives and witness the younger generation trying to assert their independence while negotiating their Chinese heritage. So it's a really fantastic generational book, um, and I highly recommend that you guys check it out if you don't know about it already. The third book that I'd like to talk to you about is Jitterbug Perfume by Tom Robbins. Now this was the first Tom Robbins that I read, and I just fell in love with his writing style. It's magical realism meets Vonnegut, and it is fantastic. But like any one of Vonnegut's works, I have serious trouble summarizing Robbins' works. 
I read this a long time ago, but I do remember that this one was the one about a cute old couple on an epic journey. So I'll read the back for you. Jitterbug perfume is an epic, which is to say it begins in the forests of ancient Bohemia and doesn't conclude until nine o'clock tonight, Paris time. It is a saga as well. A saga must have a hero, and the hero of this one is a janitor with a missing bottle. The bottle is blue, very, very old, and embossed with the image of a goat-horned god. If the liquid in this bottle is actually the secret essence of the universe, as some folks seem to think, it had better be discovered soon, because it is leaking, and there is only a drop or two left. So all of his books are, are like this, with multiple different threads that just weave together and create this fantastic magical realism novel. So I recommend that you check out his works as well. His writing style does take a bit of getting used to. You either like it or you don't, but still I recommend you try it out, especially if you're into magical realism or you like Vonnegut's writing style. I would recommend Tom Robbins. The next book I want to talk to you about is Far Less Lighthearted, and that is Salvage the Bones by Jessamine Ward. It is about motherless children living in Mississippi with their alcoholic father in the 12 days before Hurricane Katrina hits. It's about familial love and protection in the face of crippling poverty and an impending natural disaster. The premise doesn't sound that original or profound, but Jessamine Ward's writing is what makes this book truly shine. It's brutal and powerful and ultimately a delightful novel. Um, just as a warning, there is some triggering violence towards animals, um, but I do think it is still worth reading. So the last book that I want to talk to you guys about is The Number One Ladies Detective Agency by Alexander McCall Smith. It's a series I read a long time ago and I read the first four or five, and then there was a long period of time before the next one came out, and I just never got up the momentum to get back into them. But what I read of the series was absolutely amazing, and Alexander McCall Smith is someone that I generally don't hear talked about on BookTube. The original, the first book, is a story that takes place in Botswana and focuses on Precious Ramatswe, who is drawn to her profession to help people with problems in their lives. So she sets up the first and only detective agency run by a woman with help from her associate Grace Matsuki and she solves a couple of cases in the first book. She's hired to track down a missing husband, uh, uncover a con man, and follow a wayward daughter. Um, but the case that really uh, occupies the book and is the focus of the book is about a missing 11 year old boy who may have been snatched by witch doctors. So this is the first book in a series and it's fantastic. I highly recommend you check it out. I think for a while I told people it was my favorite book, which I can no longer say because I barely even remember it, but it was fantastic and I highly, highly recommend that you check out, if not this book, something by Alexander McCall Smith. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. It was a pleasure coming up with different books that I haven't thought about in a long time and I thought that aren't talked about a lot on booktube or that you may have not heard of or not thought about yourselves in a really long time. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, and I'd love to hear in the comments below if you've heard of these books, if you've read these books, what you think of these recommendations, and if you want to pick any of them up in the future. And I look forward to seeing you in another video soon. Bye!